stream can I stream or can I not should I stream or should I not hi folks we're streaming yay that wasn't hard how hard was that can't trust Google though hang on I'm gonna wait and see what's going on here you know Prince William and Prince Harry and you can find pictures of them out there in the Black Hawk helicopter. Right. And guess what they fire? They fire uranium-238. Uh, dirty bombs. And that's what's in Carlsberg, New Mexico. Dirty bombs. That's another way of looking at it. That's what they get used for. Hang on. I checked the audio. Right, can't trust Google, see? Hi, everybody. Woo! Fukushima hounds are rolling up. I can't keep up with that. What the, the holy smokes. Hi, everybody. Missing Sky uh, is always putting out video, folks. You'll find links below if you're watching this later. If the stream is to your left-hand side, we're live streaming. And you can join in the conversation. Everybody's pretty friendly. Everybody's going to give everybody an equal break. Right? you got to come out and be pretty mean for everybody to turn on you. It's a pretty darn... Feels a lot like home. Tell you what. I know because I read these comments every night. Nobody's going to get malicious without a pretty good reason. So, And so let me go back to Prince Harry and Prince William flying around in Black Hawk helicopter shooting dirty bombs. That's quite the picture. But they're worried about someone might come over there with a dirty bomb and blow it up in their community. Right. But they go over to other communities and shoot dirty bombs like Fallujah. I remember a British uh, spokesperson, General, he was a military man, after the Basra. And he said, uh, what's the body count? He said, we don't count bodies, we bury them and move on and kill some more. That's what he said up on CNN. It was during uh, 19... I can't remember. But I distinctly remember being in, you know, shocked by that statement. That stuck with me forever. We, uh, so we got... You know, you ever see a fairy tale, Disneyland? Where the prince gets out on the podium and says to everybody... We got to get, we got to bring ourselves together. We got to make our community strong. You know, I'm going to come out and work alongside you. I don't need no guards. You're my fellow man. Well, these guys, uh, Prince William and Prince Harry, they spend around $300 million a year on their security for the two of them. So they can fly around in pretty helicopters and shoot dirty bombs into other people's homes and hospitals and countries and water into their farms. And I'm painting you this picture for a specific reason. So bear with me. And hi everybody. I'll come in and do the good night eating after. How about that? Because um, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Because go over to Google. Hello Google. There you are. And Look up Google Map of Carlsbad, New Mexico, the New Mexico repository for uranium-238. That's contaminated with plutonium and americium and neptunium. They only play a tiny, tiny percent of what's actually in that repository. And during... <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. It's the gallows laugh. They threw all these 45-gallon drums in there. No, they never threw them in there. They stacked them in there. Some poor... Some poor person got that job. And they stacked these things in there. 45 gallon drums. Now the licensing agreement to the places where they got them from. Says they're going to be in a sarcophagus till the end of time. That's not 45 gallon drums. Right? And because this is nuclear waste. This is extraordinarily dangerous stuff. It's going to destroy those 45 gallon drums in no time at all. And so they just keep stacking it in there and they keep bringing it there for 15 years. And it's got a license for 10,000 years. They never say what they're going to do in 10,000 years. But they got a license to do that for 10,000 years. 
And Mom and Ox, on my last two videos were the links. I'm not sure if I got it there tonight. I actually got no more room under my videos. I got to get rid of some of the sentences down there because I'm running out of rooms for links for everybody. Such is life, right? You're eventually going to fill up that spot. <laughs> but by then, I'll have a .org up and running uh, soon. We'll have the studio soon. We'll have the interviews soon. Stuff like that. Because that's necessary. It's confirmed Albuquerque. Now, you've seen... Uh, another point i got to make before I forget about it. This is important for everybody. Is the link below to News Channel 4... And in that video, News Channel 4 got a got a dispersal model there. And at the beginning of the model, there's a banana in a banana. I know, it's bananas. Right? And later in that same clip, they talk about bananas. And we've been down that road for an hour and two minutes or something. The two-minute video, which is doing pretty good. I got to get my... My licks down a little bit better, and then that'll be pretty funny stuff coming up from now on. We'll do that kind of routine from now on. Go light side on these little short videos, see if we can get a few chuckles, but still kick them around. Like they're. Don't let them sidetrack. Go down, get that video, and go in and and take the screen captures of their dispersal model. Right? And you can send it to them. You can put it on in your computer. But you can show it to your friends. How do you put two bananas in there? You can send it to them and ask them, why did they use uh, the shapes of bananas? Because they actually put that in there. Right? That's them. Right? Those bananas wasn't there when they got it. They actually put those bananas in there. Okay? That's despicable. And then they go to the university and find some guy who says, hey, like a banana. It's a banana. It's like a banana routine. And we're familiar with how all of that works. Most of us should be. Let me run through it one more time for everybody. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Let me find it here. Let me take a second. Why don't I find that right away? Here we go. If News Channel 4, Ed Donny, bothered to fact check, you find the link below to his video. He would know that if you eat a banana with 12 Beckwolds a second decay of potassium 40. Let me see if I can actually state what I typed out. In it, if you had potassium 40 in a 12 Beckwolds, you would off-gas the potassium, same amount of potassium 40. If you, if you drink a glass of water with 9,000 Beckwolds of potassium 40, you off-gas 9,000 Beckwolds of potassium 40 because potassium 40 got nothing to do with what we're talking about. But for some reason, the banana got thrown in there. And, you know, it's not fair to the bananas, uh, even though these people are bananas. 12 becquerels a second, right? So you can't get more potassium-40 in your body or in wood or in rocks or, you know, in your clothing. Whatever potassium-40 is there, that's all it can sustain. It goes out into the environment immediately. It can only sustain so much, right? It's like a regulator... It's homeostasis, stasis, I can't even pronounce it. Well, it regulates it. I'm stuttering. It regulates it like a thermostat or like a cruise control. And it's a phenomenon that's well known. So why did they use that in there? It's insignificant, indigenous, natural, normal background radiation. That's everything on this planet is acclimated to superior selection through millenniums. It's why do they put that in there? Why did they put bananas in the actual map? So the connotations, because they say it all the time, right? They do this all the time. They talk about, they equate any kind of radioactive fallout with bananas, but it's not. It's the biggest friggin' law imaginable. And it is the biggest obstacle to anybody that's seeking the truth, right? So anybody that was listening to people that mentioned that and uses that in context with uh, nuclear fallout. Like, that's what's going on. And I'm going to cover that right away before I forget. I just wanted to cover that part to make sure everybody was really clear on what we're... Oh. Now i got to go back and get all my links because I just closed that page instead. Oh, well. It's okay, though. I got the other one open while I'm waiting for that to pop up. It might take me a minute to get that back again. So Wichita, um, 
Wichita, what the hell was that? Wichita, New Mexico, Dallas, Texas. There we go. Firefox is already running. Well, I cut a full name. You know how when you close it and you try to open it too quick? Always let your browser settle down for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. And if you're using your browser heavily, your browser will get overloaded and stop and start freezing up on you. And so you need to shut the browser off for like 30 seconds. Trust me. Particularly if you got a crappy computer, you should do that because it takes a long time for it to, to okay, hang on. New Mexico, and this is important. Uh, okay. So, I'm just going to draw you a picture of New Mexico's Carlsbad. So you can really truly understand. I can put it in the context for you. Here we go. We're on track. A little slack, but sue me. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Don't sue me. And it's not funny. Okay, it's not. Well, I got to say, it's serious stuff. And you better take it serious, because that's why I'm telling it to you. I had a really bad day. I've been sick all day. But I realized i got to get out there and make sure people got uh, can wrap their mind around what's going through my mind about this, because that's important. Is that that plume, say it's 300 miles long, right? And so the winds are going to switch and change, and it's going to blow back. Uh, evaporation is going to liberate it. It's going to get into the water, into all your farmland. It's going to be on your children's slides. It's going to be uh, on your car. It's going to be on your clothing. Change your clothing. Um, they should have told you to stay indoors for a week when this happened. Remember, this happened quite a while ago now, two weeks ago, is it? It, it was fire for sure. You can go to Mama Knox and check out those videos. You can find the links under my last two video. And I put it in my little two-minute video, clips of that for everybody. And so that's radioactive fire, so that whole building now is contaminated, right? Wherever that, what well, looks like smoke coming out is radioactive smoke. And the fact that the drums are breached means that's so like you, can, you can't get back down there. How the hell are you going to get back down there? And you can fill it up with water, I guess, but you really don't want to mix this, a lot of this stuff together because uh, you can start a chain reaction from the sludge, right? And it'll never go out. And so what you got to realize is that that plume, 300 miles is nothing for a plume. And it is a plume, right? They're ordering all kinds of protective gear. We know we got a confirmation from the military base reaching out to their loved ones um, and they were cut off and was reaching out another path allegedly and I think I, I listen to it I believe it's true it sounds sincere uh, that the plume was detected heavily there the map the other map is showing it going towards Oklahoma and this is because of the way the wind blows it and it deposits everywhere think of a snowstorm where snow never melts okay or at least for 4.5 billion years and it comes through and it's not just plutonium which is really odd that they said that it's really odd that they mentioned neptunium or americium i can't remember they only mentioned two but you can but see the uranium 238 which is what this is is left over from the production some of it's so rotten they can't even use it in the black hawk helicopters for prince william and prince harry to go down and shoot those dirty bombs into people's homes, properties, farms, playgrounds, schools, because they might get cancer being in such close contact. So some of the stuff is just so toxic. Right? You know, the plane will become radioactive. And they do. Right? Today, 10 warthog shoots a ton and a half of the same stuff they're putting in the ground, but not such a high concentration. Right? The, the x-rays... Don't get me wrong, are, are still going to be horrible. The neutrons coming out of the, the pieces left over are going to be horrible. The fact that the bullets are going through the air and the fallujah is depositing the radioactive atoms as it's 
catching fire or going through the air at the high rate of speeds after it leaves the city. A10, A10 Abram shoots at 10 pounds of solid uranium-238, which is what was in New Mexico and is catching fire. And, you know, it's an insidious thing that's going on here. They say nuclear waste, we're going to store it in the sarcophagus. And the closest they come to a sarcophagus yet is putting it in the casing of a bullet. <laughs> so McAllister's, Oklahoma. McAllister, Oklahoma. Uh, only makes uranium-238 shells. And that's contaminated with plutonium and americium and neptunium and all the other, you know, everything else, right? Because this stuff goes through its own chain reaction, so it's always creating iodine, it's always creating cesium, it's always creating strontium. And go ahead and try to buy a strontium Geiger counter. Good luck. Like a Geiger counter can tell you there's a higher level of uh, alpha radiation. I just can't tell you what it is <laughs> but it's okay at least it could tell you something but it's going to give you the willies and so it should i know i laugh sometimes because <laughs> i can't articulate in a single night what i learn in a day i just can't it's frightening that's what drives me here every night it keeps me awake all night i sleep like a rock and then i'm doing it again all of my computers are Completely dedicated to hunting out the facts for everybody and myself and my loved ones, of course, drives me. And I share things. That's what I do. I'm a researcher, for anybody who's not familiar. And so, Arizona, Phoenix, uh, I would say, uh, let me see, uh, Monterey for sure, pretty big circle, Dallas, piece of cake, Texas, guaranteed. Austin for sure, Mississippi, Oklahoma, you can count on it, and if you draw a line out to Oklahoma, that's what, that's the one spot, the one direction where there's frig all houses, <laughs> frig all communities, right, so they drew a line out there, but we got it, that's Albuquerque, uh, got higher radiation levels there, but they're only checking for a certain particle, folks, right, they're not checking for all the uranium-238, they're not checking for plutonium, even though they admitted it. That's to tell their own loved ones to convince them to get the frig out of Dodge. Because they're, they're phoning, the government's phoning all their loved ones and telling them to get out of there, and they're getting out of there. Because they're telling their loved ones the truth, or some of the truth, but enough to get them out of there, to convince them to leave. Because this is bad. Right, this is bad. You're not getting back in there. How the frig are you going to get back in there? Are you going to get some homeless from Japan to go in there and do the job for you? Is that what you're going to do? Who are you going to get to do it? You're going to take the immigrants coming in? You should get, get uh, the Yakuza to come over and go to work for you. They'll show you how to clean it up. <laughs> hey, let them run the show over there. Get rid of those pussy Americans afraid of a bit of fucking radiation. Send in the real monsters. The real creatures. They'll go out and jack the homeless for you. Oh yeah, hundred bucks a head. <laughs> That's all you gotta give them. I don't need all my health care. Fuck them. <laughs> you need? Uh, didn't you always want graveyards that glow in the dark? What the fuck, man? You gotta imagine. You know these people. They're ingesting, you know, hundred thousand becquels disintegrations a second when they walk out at the end of the day. Right? And contamination. You can't get it on you without getting it in you. So you're going to get cancer anyway if you're in the plume. If you're living in that neighborhood, they went through you. They never told you to stay indoors. Because then they got to tell you that you're evacuated. Remember, they evacuated 7,500 communities in Russia in the late 1940s. Right? With the same stuff here, uranium-238. And then a decade later, they had another detonation at the uh, fuel storage tanks because of all the shit on the bottom when a nuclear chain reaction created a whole bunch of hydrogen because of all the other stuff that was there and blew the freaking thing up. And they had to evacuate another thousand kilometers. And then they put it all into a pond that was encased and they blocked it off so it couldn't leak out. And then they had a drought uh, 10 years later and they had to evacuate another thousand miles. So altogether, 
it was like 11,000 miles, is still permanently evacuated. Right? The authorities in New Mexico, well, freak, we, won't, we won't have a pension. We tell everybody they got to, you know, we do the right thing, then we won't have no pensions. We won't have no paycheck. The slaves won't stay here, and, and, and we won't be able to spend 53 cents on every dollar. So people like Prince Harry and Prince... And uh, Prince William can go down in Iraq and Afghanistan in purdy helicopters and fire Uranium 238 in the people's communities. What kind of deal is that? You gotta stay here, we don't care, we'll give them all cancer, we're getting our fucking pension. I'm not gonna let cancer stop my children, because my children are getting cancer, stop me from getting my pension. That's basically what they're gonna say. That's what they're doing. The government employees all around this place. All in all, all in the states all around that. That's what they're doing. They're saying, I don't care if the radiation poisons everybody I know and gives them all cancer. It's not going to show up for five or six years. And I'm still going to give me checks. I don't care if my kid gets cancer. That's what they're saying. They don't care if their spouse is going to get cancer, that they're going to get cancer, that all their friends and cronies, because they got good health care, so it don't fucking matter. Well, I guess again, it does matter. It matters a lot. This is real. I I went through it, <clears throat> and that's why I'm here tonight. Uh, just as real as Fukushima, the three melted cores is real, and it's hemorrhaging into the ocean nonstop at an accelerated rate. It's being every time it rains, uh, Japan is contaminated from one end right entirely to the other end, completely. Three hundred thousand vehicles here, a million vehicles there, a million vehicles in children's playgrounds. 11 becquels a year, or 11 becquels disintegrations in your food, children's food, will cause serious heart problems. 50 becquels will cause long-term, permanent damage to their organs. Dispersals of CCM will cause, because children are, are affected 10 to 100 times more effectively by radiation than adults who are getting the same dose. And so the adults don't feel it so much but it really, right, the kid has all kinds of issues. And so everything that happens now, they're going to try to blame it on the flu, blame it on attention deficit disorders, blame it on this, blame it on that. And so first off, you got to get your hands on real food, right? Get the, Don't eat anything with the words craft on it because that's GMO. And it's got five toxins in it that are designed to fuel your cancers. And so you got to eat organic. And you got to watch out for meat and milk because of growth hormones, because of vaccines, because of who knows what they're really up to with that stuff. But that, that alone is a huge, massive issue because you're getting the vaccines by eating the meat. You're getting this rotten deal, isn't it? And then your water is poisoned. And remember, mountain water and spring water, even though you can't get away from the radiation, at least you can get your hands on some of that. It's not going to be quite the high concentrations in the mountain and the spring waters as it would be in your lakes or your local distilleries. Remember, their radiation is going to come through your pipes. And what happens if you get a lot of radiation on material for an extended period of time? It becomes radiated and creates its own radiation. And ionizing radiation is the most carcinogenic thing on the planet. And after looking at everything, uh, I've been I've been following everything. I just didn't want to say anything until I had a really good picture for myself. And I hear so many lies like this bananas yesterday was kind of the overload for me anyway. I've heard it too much now. And so why did you equating everything with a banana? Why did you try to marginalize everything and always refer to it as an underground event when it caught on fire and it smoked nonstop out of there for three days? The release is ongoing. The roof has caved in. Exactly, specifically, what do you think is containing it again? I'm a little confused. You realize this is in a unstable environment as it is. You know what happens to salt when you heat it up? So, it's going to destabilize everything else is there. And that's the end of that show down there. And the radiation will spew you 
into a, a very, you know, to the point where it'll cover North America at some point if it keeps spewing at it. They're no different than Fukushima. These plumes didn't just go out and land and that's the friggin' end of it. It doesn't turn to fairy dust. That's why Japan is contaminated from one end to the other end, okay? That's why they were going to move the government out of Tokyo 300 miles west from where the prevailing winds came from. The reason that they put it in New Mexico is because they don't even try to build a containment unit to put it in. They don't even friggin' try. They regularly, for the last five decades, not only dumped it over the side of ships and sunk ships, so they take it out on the ship and they got so many hours, they got to get it off the boat or everybody gets a serious dose. And that's why you can see those pictures of activists having 45 gallon drums drop right down on top of them because they got to get it off the boat. They got to. It's a lose lose scenario. That's why they fill up these big container ships, take them out and dump them, deep six them. Because they're pathetic chicken necks. Because they're cowards. They're traitors. And they make a fortune by lying to you. You can check my videos. And look at the NRC. Look at Alison McFarland. In Senate. Perjuring herself. Saying there's no models in Fukushima. There's no models from any other country in Fukushima. Go over to Elsevier and type in Fukushima. A publishing house that got copyrights on all your universities for free and type in Fukushima and you get 3,900 hits try clicking on it try reading the synopsis you can't you know why because you paid for it and they got the copyright on it and locked it away it would be the same thing for Carlsberg New Mexico right now if you go over to Ellsford and type it in you're probably going to find a couple of studies on the plumes they're creating plumes non-stop all day long with every direction change in the wind, with every direction, with every t change in temperatures, or rainfall, or anything else, they're creating models for themselves, and they're not going to share it with you. Japan created 5,200 models, or 5,500 5, models in the first 52 days, almost 96 models a day of the dispersal of the radioactive releases of the airborne particles, and think about how uranium-238 reacts. Remember the cloud over Baghdad for six days and Anderson Cooper for six days had the same cloud behind him? Right? Dr. Doug Rorke, the ex-military uh, in charge of the depleted uranium cleanup. You can find a video up on my site of him talking about that and talking about how uranium-238, how it'll hang like in a cloud because it's, it's a heavy metal, but it's because it's different than the typical air mass particles. It's a whole different ball game. It's, it's energy. And so, in my opinion, you have a serious event, and it's not the first one, right? DSL-1, back in the 50s, where they had a nuclear reactor. They didn't even bother building... I just got to check everything because my, my other page is gone. Hang on. I don't know what happened there. So, New Mexico, like the farmlands, just so much is now going to be contaminated. That whole immediate site is contaminated. Today they admitted there's 14 people contaminated. Oh, but we're going to do some more tests. They don't want those results coming out. So they stalled for 14 days. And they don't even care about their own employees. But they are offering full body scans. Someone's out there making money on that one. I'd like to see who got the shares in that company. Right, there's scammers out there now. Going to capitalize off people over that. And they're, and they're not going to find out the truth. But at least we got the truth here tonight. We know for sure... That the banana plume of uranium-238 and plutonium of bananas 
right? According to the link below from News Channel 4, I didn't make up this banana death plume, okay? This is what they do all the time in every single accident and every time they talk about a nuclear accident is they equate it with bananas. So they're the most despicable people in your communities that would do that. These are the traitors among us. These are the cowards. These are your professors at your universities. I mean, the video below of Dr. Uh, Nail from Oklahoma University talking about bananas is the very reason we can't trust a scientist or a university anymore. Because that's what they do. Media runs over to the university and it's good old banana or potassium 40 and a glass of water. I can fill the house up with bananas and not going to get cancer. Right? There's no studies out there showing that people who work with bananas got a higher rate of, higher rate of cancer than anybody else. Okay? Bananas have been demonized and marginalized long enough. It's time to liberate them from the slanderous world of nuclear apologists. It's terrible. Why don't they go pick on the isotope? Why do they got to pick on the banana for? Why did they talk about real... Because, like, potassium-40, you can't find a potassium-40 isotope. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're not going to see potassium-40 plumes coming out of a reactor, okay? You're going to see... Or out of a meltdown, or out of a nuclear accident at a repository. It's going to be uranium-238 with... That's contaminated with Neptunium and americium and Plutoniums and Iodine and Cesiums and Strontiums because there's this stuff is in these barrels is creating unimaginable isotopes. They're supposed to be in a sarcophagus because that's the problem with the stuff that's left over. The fact that you irradiated the Plutonium, the, the americium, the byproducts are irradiated, everything that's coming out of there is irradiated. It's not supposed to ever go into our environment because they they don't fit into our environment. And so if I take an isotope of americium or plutonium or the uranium-238, and it's going to be contaminated with uranium-234 and 235, right? Well, because all half-lives are times 10, you know? Uh, so like cc-137 you hear that lots about fukushima let's just say uh, 30 years right well it'll be gone half it'll lose half its power it takes 10 10 times to 30 years because it decays into another radioactive isotope another radioactive isotope another radioactive isotope times 10 for you know the real stuff that we talk about not the fable bananas you gotta go and look at that picture. You can, you gotta look at it. You gotta realize there was a huge fire. The roof collapsed. Fourteen workers confirmed, right? They got, they ingested radiation, and so my heart goes out to them. Uh, they don't understand, maybe a hundred percent. Who knows who the workers really were, or what they were told? Most likely they were told, ah, you know, I was like bananas. That's like getting uh, going in the ocean where there's natural uranium-238. No, it's not. I can swim in the ocean all day. If I took a bathtub of ocean water every day, I'd be fine. I used to do that. I was a commercial diver for 14 years. I don't know any of the divers going around with big old tumors at the side of their head because we were diving six hours a day on the ocean floor. And I used to do 100 days back to back on the ocean. I ran the biggest fleets on the east coast and the west coast of Canada in the commercial industry. Well, I've never seen anybody with tumors from diving in the ocean with natural uranium-238. So why are they talking about that? Right, to distract you, to make you, if you go look in, this is what you find. Uh, but uranium-238 is supposed to be in the sarcophagus for 4.5 billion years times 10. So 45 billion years. It's supposed to be locked away. That's the licensing agreement with the nuclear repositories. Right? Go check it out yourself. Everybody open up my other 
because I signed out so I'm going to go sign in hang on and what I'm trying to say to everybody is they're not going to tell you the truth they're going to talk about bananas like the assholes in the video below right Ed Donkey from News Channel 4 and Dr. John Nails I think John was it Dr. Nails from the University of Oklahoma a chemist surely the frig they got one nuclear scientist at that freaking place they could have talked to. Sure, there could be a nuclear scientist. There's somewhere. They got Los Alamo. They got not that far away. They, they got the rather. They got uh, McAllister, Oklahoma. McAllister's bomb manufacturing, pumping out uranium 238 bullets. I guess that stuff is probably left over for their production. All right? That's probably what that actually is. Uh, I bet you 100% actually. That's the production. That's what they're doing with the stuff for, from McAllister's bomb manufacturer. Because they produce 20 train car loads a day of dirty bombs. I mean bullets. I mean dirty bombs. Right? To send down to Afghanistan and fire in other people's homes and water. So it's blowing back on you now in more ways than one. And they don't care. They're not going to tell you they're going to lose their jobs. They're not going to have no pensions. They're not going to be able to, to treat you like slaves. You're not going to hang around and pay taxes. You're not going to treat them like gods. You're not going to bow down to them because you're too busy getting out of the way. You're not, you know, you got to avoid the GMO in your supermarkets like it's the plague. Because it is. How can you produce genetically modified foods that got no nutrition, got no calcium, no potassium, no magnesium, no iron, no cobalt? How can you do that? And put five toxins, like formaldehyde and glyphosate, which prohibit you from uptaking nutrients and minerals. <laughs> it's a twisted world. It's like nobody is your friend. And then the people you hired to do a job, to monitor radiation, shut them all off. Oh, they all went offline two weeks ago, the, the, the same day as, uh, as it happened. They turned off the radiation monitoring right across the freaking country. Because it's going to go right across the country. It came across from Japan in 72 hours. 5,500 miles. How long do you think it's going to take to get to Texas? Huh? Or anywhere else, Albuquerque. Not very long, 12 hours. And it's like snow that never melts, but it's invisible. And you can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't smell it. You can't friggin' hear it. You don't know where you're going to put your hand down to. Or like you say, your children are getting it on their boots. It's in schoolyards in Fukushima, for goodness sakes. Well, they they decontaminated it. And it's a, still a million Beckwell's disintegrations of cesium 137 They didn't bother checking for Because wherever there's 137 there's 30 times more strontium-90. Which goes right into your bone, right into your muscles. Oh, the cesium. There's 30 times more strontium. Cesium goes right to your heart. A lot of it. Loves your heart. It causes heart issues right away. It's not slow acting, okay? Bad friggin' news. There was an increase after Fukushima. 20,000 extra deaths unaccounted for because of, uh, blamed it on Fukushima through a couple of different studies now. They don't matter at all because Fox never told you. It doesn't matter if universities or any institutions carry out any studies anyway because it's locked up in the RV tower right away right 4800 peer review every day fuck it lock it up don't let the idiots read that shit don't let them read that feed them Fox feed them CNN and MSNBC let them sit around call each other names and you can run back and forth see who wins who got the best joke who got the best laugh who gets the last laugh Forget about the 4,800 peer review academic studies that are published every day, freaking locked away in the ivory towers, and you paid for that. You're paying for all the studies they're doing right now of the dispersals, because you paid them to do it. Your taxes pay for all that. They're supposed to do that and share it with you. Ha <laughs> ha! They're not even going to tell you to stay out of the rain. They're, mod they're modeling that constantly. They know. They're, you know. These are the people you hired. And they're not going to tell you because they ain't going to get a check anymore. That's the way they see it. 
they're going to lose control. It's better just to let you all get cancer and pretend it didn't happen. Look at your children and pretend that they'll, you know, they'll be okay. I'm a government employee. Not going to happen. My kids, my parents are not going to get affected, even though you probably phoned them and told them to stay the fuck indoors. Because that's what they're doing. That's what they've been doing. That's what they're continuing to do. That's what you're supposed to do. They just forgot to tell you. Because you pay the fucking bills. And you don't mean jack shit. They're there to be parasites upon you. You say, oh, you know, it's the welfare. Fuck you. It's the government that is sucking you fucking dry. 53 cents on every dollar to go down there and create 5 million orphans in Afghanistan and knock down every friggin' house down there with black helicopters and all the warthogs and Abram tank shooting depleted uranium rounds from McAllister's bomb manufacturer in Oklahoma. Now Oklahoma, all those people that's working at the bomb manufacturing facility are going to get their dose of cancers. They're driving to work every day and that shit. They're going to go grabbing their door handles. They do that work all the time, see? But you got to realize that 4,800 peer review studies every day, we could probably put nutrition back in the food. I know Dana, 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 come on. No, I mean, you know, they, they actually, they took it all out, so, like, I know this is odd, but couldn't they? Nah, they, I guess not. You know, like, I, I think they could if they tried. They, they put a man on the moon, apparently, so why couldn't they put nutrition back in food and take the the, the five toxins out of it, the glossophates in particular? <laughs> At least meet us halfway. Put a little bit of nutrition back in her food. How about that? And take a couple of the toxins out. Because the food never had that before. And it used to always have nutrition. Right now you got to get 427 corn on the cob of GMO. To, to get the same amount of calcium in a single organic corn on the cob. You used to eat 8,500 plants. 8,500. Now you eat seven. You're a healthy bunch you are. And you take uh, GMO supplements. They give your kids GMO baby food. Not on purpose. Maybe so. Your pet food is GMO. The majority of it. Everything in your corner shop is GMO. Your supplements, your vitamins, your pharmaceuticals, your clothing, your baby clothing, your toys, your pacifiers, Leeching out the old, good old glossophates and formaldehydes and buy speed away. Why, did, why do you think they put 4,000 chemicals in a cigarette for? Because it makes it better? Whose idea do you think that was? Same same people who said not to tell anybody about the leak from New Mexico and the same people who made up the graphs with bananas in it. Right? you got to call these people out. Because if not, they'll just keep doing it to you. And then the people who don't know any better are subconsciously sucked in and they become, they want to argue. You don't argue with them. You go after the people that done it to you. You know, if there's enough out there that's awake, if they all concentrate their efforts on going after these people and trying to give them a guilty conscience, some pains of conscience, um, you could change the world. If you can get 4,800 peer review academic studies just one day a year to build sarcophagus, to work out how to build a sarcophagus, but like 4,800 professors and all their students, uh, peer review studies, a thousand hours. It's a thousand pages. It's an enormous amount of money, expendables, resources, time, energy. And then it has to go to other institutions and get peer reviewed. So there's an enormous amount of money and time and energy. Hours. But you pay for all that. And then the copyright is given immediately to somebody else. That we don't know what to do with it. They sell it, apparently. You can go rent it for a couple hours, but you can't buy it. It's not like a book where you can go buy a book. But you can rent the study and go look at it for 35 hours or $35 if you want. So the media can go out and look up 39 100 peer review academic studies about Fukushima. Instead of giving us conjectures. 
and commentary without representation, without monkeys like Ken Buesler from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution coming out and saying that CC-137 coming out of Fukushima, I'll just turn to potassium-40. But I mean, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution got 850 scientists. Surely the frig they got a nuclear scientist to somewhere. I know, it's like, I know, it's over the top, Dana. They're busy, Dana. That's why they got Ken. Ken never done nothing since Chernobyl. As soon as Fukushima happened, he dropped everything he was doing and he came to pitch in. Because he was back there in Chernobyl doing the same thing. He was coming out and lying, deceiving, utter deception. Running around, no accountability. Nobody asking him the real question of, hey, no, CCM-137 doesn't radioactively decay immediately to potassium-40. Maybe in 300 fucking years. Because of the 10 times decay. But he doesn't even bother mentioning that there's 30 times more strontium from Fukushima. I'm switching back and forth, I know. But there's 30 times more strontium that came over to North America. So you got that nuclear fallout. You got all the bullets you fired in Iraq. That stuff gets liberated all the time. Comes back up into the environment through convection, through evaporation, through storms. The plumes that came out of there are an immediate threat, they're a new threat, they're a serious threat. The fact that they've been storing stuff there for 15 years, let me get rid of that, for 15 years, <coughs> means there's a lot there, right? And where did that come from? Well, that's from the 20 train car loads a day going out of McAllister's bomb manufacturer, McAllister, Oklahoma of the uranium-238 dirty bombs that, you know, you're giving to uh, Afghanistan as keepsakes, right? That's what the A-10 Warthog is for, shooting up apartment buildings. Because they're hurting bunkers, right? Because, uh, you know, I just watched the videos of that happening, where they shot up a whole friggin' apartment building because it had a sniper in it. And so who do you think were in those apartments? You know, like a 60-story building. Who do you think was in those apartments? Those children? Those women? Those families? Did they deserve that? Because there was a sniper on the roof? Of a big apartment building? And all those bullets came out, most of those came out of McAllister's bomb manufacturing. They were all dirty bullets. A ton and a half, a minute, 71 Nagasaki bombs worth of radiation. Not only that, but the x-rays and the neutrons. Because you're talking about chunks and as it's going through the air, it's burning off and releasing, like a gram will put out more radioactive atoms of uranium-238 than all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet. What's a ton and a half going to do per minute? And don't think they were down there for something to do. They were up there buzzing around. They shot the shit out of everything. Now look at the highway of death. Look at all you put in the ocean. Look at them. Look at what they got done in New uh, Mexico, New Mexico, where they put bananas in the plume. Go and find the link below. Can you possibly get any more twisted and mentally ill than to do something like that? Is there uh, any more reason uh, not to ever trust media or a scientist or a university again after that display in that video? Or check out any of these apologists. That's why universities are their apologists for a handful of corporations and an ideology that thinks that it's okay to not do their job, to control your government to the point where they won't even warn you because they don't want to embarrass the nuclear industry. But the nuclear industry shouldn't exist because they still haven't worked out how to contain it. They don't even try. And they have every, we give them every opportunity on the planet. We give them our universities and all the copyrights, and they still can't get it right. We give them all the money they ever friggin' wanted, and they can't get it right. We give them everything, and they can't get it right. We give them, we, they can hire as many as they want to do the job. They have that ability, they have that authority, because that's their job. And they can't get it right. 
because they're too busy stealing, too busy being Superman, too busy being important, too busy being uh, bossy, too busy creating, you know, tens of thousands of laws to fit in, and then their children have to grow up in that environment. It's not just the radioactive fallout. They've let you down in every aspect of your life. They poisoned your food, poison your children. They they destroy your children. They marginalize your children. They grope, and molest your children at the airports. They created five million orphans in Afghanistan to get that eleven thousand Taliban. That eleven thousand Taliban is the reason for everything they've done. The 22 veterans committing suicides on the streets every day was to get that 11,000 Taliban. The 28,000 rapes a year in the military is to get that 11,000 Taliban. It's 80,000 suicides since the war started in Iraq, and it's 300,000 rapes in the military. And if they're raping their own that much, how many are they raping in the countries they're occupying? Where they're firing, where Prince Harry and Prince William flies around like a video game, firing uranium-238 dirty bombs in everybody's homes, in the family cars, in the schools, in the hospitals. And the uranium-238 that's left over is burning off in New Mexico and polluting New Mexico. It's twist, this is as twisted as it gets. It's frightening. And then everybody is not even warned. And it's like, fuck, you can't take iodine pills. What the gives a fuck? You're ingesting it anyway. Well, thyroid's a bad cancer, but... It's not like this just came through and disappears, what I'm trying to say to you. It's, what's this deer? It's deer is like snow that never melts, never goes away. But gets reliberated and put somewhere else. You wash off something, next day it shows back up. It rains, it shows back up. Once it's deer long enough, it radiates everything deer. And so they can't tell you. They, they don't have the fortitude that they had in Russia where they evacuated 7,500 communities. We're, just, we're talking about Americans, right? And government employees. Don't expect them to have any morals, okay? Don't, don't, they're not that clever. Let's put it that way. They feel clever. They think they're clever. They get credit cards of your money and they just blow it and they try drive you into the whole... Or 44 million of you are on food stamps, or GMO, I should say. And so the truth is, like Fukushima, like Fallujah, where 80% of the babies, because of all the uranium and fart into that country of 238, are born with no arms, no mouth, no head. It's a horror show where women don't even want to have a baby there anymore. That's all produced at uh, McAllister's bomb manufacturer, McAllister, Oklahoma, not that far away, right? That's the waste that they can't use because it's too toxic to reject the stuff. Well, they'll ship it over to Car uh, Carlsbad, New Mexico, and put it in an unstable environment where 45-gallon drums are guaranteed to melt through at some point and a chain reaction it's guaranteed, and then you can never get back in there. You just need one accident, one 45-gallon drum blowing up in there. How the frig are you ever going to get in there again? What about you have a bunch? It blows up and smashes open a bunch of them. You know, they, they can't last more than 20, 25 years. They usually don't last more than 10. If you put extraordinarily, highly, unimaginably, hideously corrosive stuff, and a lot of this stuff was has no environmental or human impact studies, the other chemicals they used, because the Environmental Protection Agency, which, by the way, keeps increasing the radiation acceptable levels based upon some fancy wheel of fortune, they just keep raising the numbers. Oh, it's not as bad as the EPA's number! <laughs> well, the average worker used to get around five... Um, Beckwell's a year exposure, and that was considered too much. Now it's like, fuck it, give me 1,000, 1,200, I don't care, everybody's going to get cancer anyway, what's a few extra tumors? Well, you equate it with an x-ray. This got nothing to do with an x-ray. You ingest it, when you get an x-ray, you walk away, that's the end of it. 
That's your experience. Was a three or four second blast, ten second blast, whatever. MR scans was a little longer. They put shit in you. It's extremely low life isotope. You know, it lasts a few hours, minutes, days, or weeks. Uh, that would be extraordinary, a day or a week, right, for the medical stuff. In fact, it's not even, you know, the NRC doesn't even cover that stuff because it's just the medical community covers that part of the radiation results. It's insignificant. Unlike the soil around New Mexico, most likely uh, anywhere in a thousand miles circumference, pretty good deposits, major banana releases all over that country. If the radiation looked was bananas, you wouldn't be able to see anybody's house or anybody's gardens. You wouldn't be able to drive down the road without bumping over bananas as you're going down the road. Right across for at least a thousand miles in any direction because the wind changes, right? Clouds are picking it up with moisture, re-liberating it. It's going into your rivers, it's going to your streams, and your swimming pools. And by the way, let me finish that one before we get to the end of the night here. We were talking earlier about uranium-238, natural in the ocean. I took a bath in it. I digressed, I know, but I just got back to that for one second. If I was to take a bath of the yellow cake from New Mexico, I would probably die as I walked in the room, the bathroom, and I wouldn't be getting out of the bathtub. It would melt my organs. So, because it's contaminated on top of that. This is highly radioactive because it went through the chain reaction. The, the gammas, the betas, the alphas are completely different. Way more deadly. In this concentrated form. In this man-made, military-industrial complex, weaponized. And another reason they're creating all these mad isotopes in the first place and, uh, and the leftover is so they can create isotopes for directed energy weapons, for lasers. The big lasers can't exist without the hideous, monstrous, radioactive, um, exotic isotopes. And you deplete them. It's one of the few things out there that can deplete, deplete, deplete. Because you know how to say uranium-2 depleted uranium? It used to be called Dolram, depleted uranium low-level radioactive materials. But it still wasn't that. A Dixie cup of it can kill everybody in the restaurant inside of an hour because of the isotopes from the uranium-238, from the raw-238 with the americium, the neptunium, the plutonium. Contaminant is just a part of the contamination of the uranium-238, which is the byproduct of weaponized isotopes for directed energy weapons. Right? Power at a nuclear plant is a byproduct of the nuclear fission because you need to use like a million gallons a minute to keep the reactor cool and it's super hot you make money selling power and it's a good disguise but it's all about because you've been able to use just a normal radioactive material to, to create power you never needed all these exotic weaponized military industrial uh, isotopes you need that for directed energy weapons so you can finish off the planet just in case the radiation don't do a good enough job because that's all you're going to do. You're going to destroy the planet with that stuff. It's not supposed to be on the planet. There's no university out there even trying to contain it. Ah, let's put it in an old salt pit. Yeah, well, George, the license says you're going to put it in a sarcophagus, in a man-made sarcophagus for a quarter million years. Yeah, Jesus, you don't believe that, do you? That's for the freaking idiots out there. For the people paying our pensions. They actually talk like that. They actually think like that. And But the people at the top, like, you know, the people that or chummies with uh, Elsevier, Springer, and Wiley, right, who get their hands on all the academic peer review studies that you pay for, but you'll never get. They'll let you read some at the university. Universities, notice that Harvard pays four point something million dollars a year for bundles. You're still not getting the library. I mean, just to go in and peruse some of these just genres is 15,000, 50,000, 100,000. And Elsevier, Springer, and Wiley owns 20,000. Of the most prestigious academic journals on the planet. You get the copyrights from all your institutions for free. They get the copyright on everything you produce, your taxes produce for free. Because you're gullible sheeple. Right? No, because you don't know any better. Because no one tells you. How are we doing? 58 minutes. Let me say goodnight to everybody. I signed back in just so I can do it. Here we go. 
you know, my heart goes out to everybody in New Mexico, Texas. Um, California, Arizona, Las Vegas, Utah, Colorado, Denver, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Sacramento, Baja, California, Mexico City, because that plume is radioactive fallout. It's coming at you. It deposits it as it goes past you. It comes back, it gets picked back up, and storms liberate it by convection and evaporation from rain, clouds. And that's it for me. I'll come over to the stream because it might be easier as I say good night. Today is Wednesday. Let me close that part. <coughs> Okay, everybody, Candace, Brian, Candace and Brian, Mark, Pet Lover, Cats Alive, Stacy Lane, thank you. We, we always like seeing you. I got lots of links below, folks. Uh, Double Hoop Nation, Michael Hand, Annabeck, Basic Data. Uh, there was a lot of comments last night, Sneaky Devils. It was pretty cool, though. Gloria, Irene Earl, Toxic, Just Passing Through, Dominate, Pam, Ay, 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 Miss Milky, Hi, sweetie, Candace, um, okay, well, Stetson, everybody, Gavin, not for our John. I haven't caught up in the comments so far today, so I'll catch up on them and I'll come in and read these after. And see if, uh, if there's how everybody's feeling. I'm a little bit worn out. Just had a really rough day. Feeling better now though, that's good. Well, I think it's a real issue and it has to be dealt with. We have the ability to deal with all of this. That's the whole problem, right? You know, Prince Harry and Prince William, uh, they shouldn't be out there shooting dirty bombs in other people's countries. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? At least as a sign of good faith, stop friggin' doing that. Put some uh, nutrition back in the food, take the toxins out of it. That'd be a sign of good faith. You can find a link below to DCA. It's a natural mineral. It's hard to get because they don't want you to have it. There's no patent on it. You don't need a pharmaceutical for it. There's a study below my video. It's called DCA, three letters. And it's a cure for cancer. It reduces all tumors by about 70%. It's a new study. It's talking about the old studies. It's a Canadian study. It's they got links to a CTV talking about it, to the studies. This is not a joke. There's no money in cures. Folks, remember that. Remember, all pharmaceuticals are just natural herbs anyway, right? So why not eat the natural stuff? Why take their word on it when it always turns out there's something really bad? Well, there is. It's proven over and over and over. Dear bad. <laughs> and so the natural stuff is your savior. That's your savior. Turmeric. Uh, 600 peer review academic studies on how good it is. That'll give you an idea of what natural, normal, organic food is really like. You won't see 600 studies on how good or, or uh, GMO corn is. <laughs> well, when he took all the nutrients out and all the potassium, magnesium out, made people skinnier. Made them skinnier. We'll catch you in the morning, folks. <laughs> skinnier. <laughs> I got to use that one of the nights in the comedy. 